Hello, Cricketers, and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to use puff vinyl. I'm using puff vinyl on a 100% cotton shirt, and I'm using this file that I've used multiple times. It just says, Crafting is my therapy. I purchased it from Design Bundles. I will show you my full process for how I accessed it through my Plus membership, how I got it downloaded, and then uploaded into Cricut Design Space. This is what the finished product looks like. And what am I gonna say? I love it. I absolutely love the way this turned out. I'm gonna show you my full process for getting your design to look like this. Hopefully you can see just how puffy it is. I'm in love with puff vinyl. I don't know if I love it as much as flock. It might be equal. At any rate, let's look at the materials you will need in order to create a design just like this. The materials I'm gonna use for this project include this black gilding heavyweight cotton shirt. I'm using my green standard grip mat, a pin pan weeding tool. I'm going to use one of these colors of puff vinyl that I purchased from Heat Press Nation. They have multiple colors and this weekend they are having a 10% off sale. I'll make sure to leave my code linked below. I'm also gonna use my Cricut Explore Air 2 and my Starcraft 15 by 15 clamshell heat press. So without further ado, Let's get started. The file that I'm using is one that I purchased from Design Bundles. It is called Crafting is My Therapy. I've worn it in several of my videos. I'm just going to download the file again because, it's, because it is not downloaded on this computer that I'm using. And when I download a file, it ends up in a zipped folder. I don't, I don't think you can see the folder, but it is down in the left corner of my screen. I'm going to extract the file and then um, actually get it downloaded on my computer so that I can use it. And once I have it download, extracted and downloaded on my computer, then I will upload the file into Cricut Design Space. I am in Cricut Design Space and I'm connected to my Cricut Explore Air 2. I'm going to go to upload and I'm going to upload the file that I just downloaded um, from Design Bundles. I'm gonna click upload image I'm gonna go to browse. I'm going to navigate to the folder where I have that file saved. And it is the one that is called Crafting is My Therapy. I'm going to download the file that says Microsoft Edge. That is an SVG. I'm gonna select cut image, click upload, add it to my canvas. Now the file is going to come in big and it is, it is uh, grouped. I know that it's grouped because I have the option to ungroup it. I'm gonna minimize the view on my screen right now. It's at 100% or take it down to 50%. And I'm also going to go ahead and weld this file together. I don't need it to be attached. I want it to be welded. Um, and then I am going to go to templates and find the t-shirt template, just the one that says classic shirts. This template will just help with sizing because you know I'm using a, just a regular basic shirt and I wanna make sure that my file is not too big for the shirt. So when I look at my options, I have a men's short sleeve. I'm gonna choose women's short sleeve and I'm using a medium shirt. I'm just bringing the size of the file down. I'm gonna bring it down to, uh, I'll bring it down to 11, a width of 11. And I won't do anything with the height. I like that, I like the way that looks. Now I have it sized, I have it welded. It's just the way that I want it. I'm ready to click make it. Um, and with, the puff vinyl, you use it the same way that you use heat transfer vinyl. So I know that I'm gonna bring my image down and I'm also going to mirror this. So I have it mirrored. I'm going to click continue. Okay. It's asking me to set the base material. And puff vinyl is just a little bit thicker. So I'm going to still use the everyday iron on setting, but I'm going to use more pressure and I'm going to get the vinyl placed on the mat with the heavier side face up. Everything that I'll do from here will be back on the camera. 
I am going to put the puff vinyl with the shinier side down. So there's like a heavy side and like a shiny side. I'm gonna put the shiny side face down on the mat and I'm not going to cut any of it. I am going to just get it loaded into my machine and I'll cut the excess off after it's finished cutting. So when you are applying the heat, the puff vinyl to your mat, make sure that the carrier sheet is what goes down on the mat. So there's a shiny side and there's a side that looks kind of dull. The shiny side is what should be face down because that has the carrier sheet. And there's a dull side, that is where the actual puff vinyl is. So that's what's on my mat and that's what I'm going to weed away right here and then we will get ready to get it pressed. I'm going to preheat my shirt. I have my heat press set at 305 degrees. And according to the instructions, you are supposed to preheat your garment for two to three seconds. So I'm going to do that. Actually, I could have put a crease right there. Let me go ahead and crease my shirt. This will just make sure that I have my design directly in the center of the shirt. Now, according to, according to the application instructions, Puff vinyl should be applied at 305 degrees for 10 seconds using medium pressure. So I'm going to put my shirt back on my heat press. And I'm, I'm sure you can also do this with a Cricut Easy Press. Um, I probably would not try to do this with the household irons because you don't know what your temperature is and you definitely won't know how much pressure you're giving it. So I'm going to just go about, about three finger lengths down from the collar and I am going to trust that it's centered just by eyeballing it. I'm gonna put a Teflon sheet on top and I'm gonna press this for 10 seconds on 305 degrees. Okay, my heat press is beeping. And puff vinyl, let me zoom you in so you can see it really, really good. I can see it puffing up from here. Hopefully you can too. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the carrier sheet. Ooh, <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love it. Look at how this turned out. Look at that, look. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Now I cannot tell which one I like more, the puff vinyl or the flock, but I also love the flock now. So this is the finished product and hopefully you were able to follow along with my process. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking my, this video, subscribing to my channel and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today and Thanks for watching. Bye.